Today we're just going to remind ourselves about what multiplication and division mean. If we have something like 4 times 3, what does that mean? Well, it means we want 4 groups of 3, and we can picture that as follows. We want, for example, 4 groups of 3 apples. Picturing 4 groups of 3 apples will give us something that looks like this. 4 groups, 1, 2, 3, 4 groups, and in each group we've got 1, 2, 3 apples. How many apples do we then have in total? Well, we've got 3, plus another 3, plus another 3, plus another 3, which gives us a total of 12 apples. In other words, 4 groups of 3 apples is equal to 12. The same picture of the apples can show us another multiplication. Let's just have a look at it. Can you see that in this picture we could also think of it as we have got 1, 2, 3 groups and in each group we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 apples. So what we've got is 3 groups of 4 apples is equal to 12. So basically from the same picture we can see 4 groups of 3 apples is 12 as well as 3 groups of 4 apples is equal to 12. What about division? Let's have a look at that next. When we write 12 divided by 4, there, is two, there are two ways we can think of this. We can either think of it as grouping or we can think of it as sharing. And I'm going to show you both ways of thinking about them. Let's start off with sharing. If we're going to think about it as sharing, when we do 12 divided by 4, what we think of is that we have 12 apples that we are going to share between four children. So let's put the children on now. Okay, here are my four children. And I need to share these 12 apples over here equally between these four children. Let's do that. So we start by distributing the apples one at a time to the children making sure that they each get exactly the same amount. And then we can see quite easily that each child will get three apples. So, 12 apples shared between four children means each child will get three apples. If we do the same calculation, but in this case, think about division as grouping, what we have is we're going to do 12 divide by 4. And what we do there is we think about putting our 12 apples into groups of 4 and we ask ourselves how many groups of 4 do we have. In thinking about it in apple terms, really what I'm saying is I've got 12 apples and I'm going to divide them into packets and I want to put four apples into each packet, how many packets of apples will I end up with? Well, let me go and put my apples into packets of four. So these four here will go into the first packet, these four here into the next packet, and these four into the next packet. And so I can quite easily see that if I group my apples into packets of four, I end up with three packets. Let's just do another division calculation. In this case, let's take those same 12 apples, but in this case, divide them by 3. And again, we're going to do them in the two ways, the sharing way and the grouping way. So let's have a look at taking these 12 apples and sharing them between three people in this case. So let's get our three people. So we have three people, and we need to share our 12 apples between those three. So we distribute them 
making sure that everybody is getting the same amount. And it shouldn't be any surprise for to you to see that if I had 12 apples and I shared them between three children, I'd end up with each child getting four apples. Let's do the same calculation, but using grouping. If we want to say 12 divided by 3, using the grouping idea, what we're saying there is we have 12 apples. We want to put them into packets with three apples in each packet. How many packets are we going to end up with? Well, there's the first packet of three apples. There's the next group of three apples. There's the next group of three apples. There's the next group. So we've got one, two, three, four groups, four packets. And so 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. What we've done throughout this video is to see that we have four related facts all about 12, 4 and 3. We saw, to start, that four groups of 3 was equal to 12. Then we saw that looking at that same picture we could see it as three groups of 4 also being equal to 12. And then we looked at the fact that 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3 and that 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. This is our fact family that relates 4, 3 and 12, multiplication and division. Taking note of these fact families is important. It means that if you know a multiplication sum, you automatically know the answer to a division sum. So if I tell you that 9 times 8 is equal to 72, you can immediately know that 72 divided by 9 is equal to 8.